Arapahoe Park hosted the richest day in the history of horse racing in Colorado on the final day of the 2015 season, Sunday, August 16th. The big crowd watched the biggest races of the meet for the three breeds of horses that competed at Arapahoe Park, thoroughbreds, quarter horses, and Arabians. Total purses were $500,000. The Gold Rush Futurity and Arapahoe Park Classic marked the first time that the Aurora Colorado track featured two $100,000 thoroughbred stakes races on the same day. Horse racing always looks back fondly at its past. In Colorado, it's back to Centennial. The state's first major track opened in 1950. And they're off. Crismo broke on top on the outside with extreme early speed. Horse racing is also about the anticipation of what will happen when the gates open. Where is the next winner? What horse will be a future star? Thoroughbreds can begin racing at the age of two. And the Gold Rush Futurity is where hopeful owners, trainers, and jockeys prospect for the next golden horse, the next star of Colorado horse racing. Perhaps even a horse who can be like Phil D going from Colorado racing in 1950 to the Kentucky Derby in 1951. The full field of 12 two-year-olds in the 2015 renewal of the Gold Rush Futurity included proven Colorado star R-Dub, the winner of the Colorado Thoroughbred Breeders Association and Silver Cup Futurities at Arapahoe Park against the strong contingent of out-of-state horses. Western Destiny and Royally Divine from Iowa, Texas Chrome from Texas, and Dub Dub Watson from California. The six furlong race produced an exciting stretch run. Gates open, the Gold Rush Futurity is underway. Let the boy sing, the maiden breaks on top of Dub Dub Watson in the lime green cap to the outside. R Dub now charging through with nines are wild, and then comes Ritzy Rags. Royally Divine takes back in mid division, followed by Western Destiny and Dug Boy Brown to the inside. Texas Chrome is in between horses. Black Cap about six lengths off the lead, followed further back by one like Scooter, third last in front of the two Mark Jensen trained runners, Essence of Sky, and this cat's. The Scalp Cowboy. They race into the far turn, and it's Dub Dub Watson from California who leads the Colorado Star R Dub by a half a length, now a full length, and they sprint two lengths away from Let the Boy Sing in third place. Dub Dub Watson trying to steal it right here, comes to the quarter pole with a four length advantage for Alonzo Canañez. Races very wide off the turn and into the stretch, but has the lead with R Dub trying to plug away, and Texas Chrome is now trying to take a run at the lead as they race inside the final furlong with Dub Dub Watson desperately trying to hold on. Texas Chrome is within a length, a half a length, the neck. Texas Chrome flies right by Dub Dub Watson. Texas Chrome gets the gold in the Gold Rush Futurity, defeating Dub Dub Watson, and they were well clear of our Dub in a photo with Let the Boy Sing for third place after six furlongs in one minute, 11.02 seconds. Despite having his jockey, Deshaun Parker, covered in dirt, Texas Chrome shined brightest of all to win the Gold Rush Futurity. The Shea Stewart trainee owned by Danny Keene remained perfect in three races. After the race, jockey Parker said, quote, he's just learning how to run. Going longer, he'll be all right. Wasn't there another horse with the name of a state and Chrome in his name? Could Texas Chrome be the next California Chrome? The other $100,000 thoroughbred stakes race that made up the richest day in the history of horse racing in the Rocky Mountain State was the Arapahoe Park Classic. A field of 10 competed over a mile and an eighth. Magical Twist, the runner-up in 2014, was favored. His stablemate from the Charlotte Martinez barn, Lady Gila, used to be a $3,000 claimer, and now a contender in a six-figure stakes race. There would be plenty of time to make a run in the race, testing the stamina of a sprinter like Bourbon Sense. Gates open, the Arapahoe Park Classic is underway. 
with Bourbon Sense showing his cards early and going to the front. Lady Gila also shows speed. And then AP Wildcat tucking back into third. Four lengths behind this runaway leader, Bourbon Sense, past the finish line with a lap to go. With three-eighths of a mile to go, they haven't gotten to Bourbon Sense yet. Stashies to the outside for Travis Wales, trying to steal it with a quarter of a mile to go. And then two lengths back to Senate Rules, trying to run on with Wally Van, followed by Steelman Run and Lady Gila. But Bourbon Sense has led from the start. No turning back, coming inside the final furlong. Stashies trying to take a run at him. Steelman Run from Texas is now putting his best foot forward. Bourbon Sense in a desperate finish. Brian Terrio holding on on the long shot and Bourbon Sense leads from the start to the finish in the Arapahoe Park Classic. Bourbon Sense defeats Steelman Run, photo third place. Magical Twist and Senate Rules. The final time for a mile and one eighth, one minute, 53.53 seconds. After the race, jockey Brian Terrio said, quote, he went to the lead. I slowed him down as much as I could, and he kept digging in and kept going. Bourbon Sense is owned by Dale Arnold and trained by Ty Garrett. Earlier in the season, Ty Garrett also trained Kalinda Dawn, a filly, a female horse, who defeated male horses in the 2015 Colorado Derby, a performance even more remarkable considering that it was her second stakes victory in one week. Horse racing sees female horses and female jockeys who compete with the boys at the sport's highest level. Another battle of the sexes at Arapahoe Park in 2015 came in the front range stakes when Lady Contender was victorious in one of the most exciting races of the season. And the mare taking on the boys, Lady Contender running a strong race, Magical Twist also getting into it from the center. Here comes Magical Twist, widest of all with Lady Contender embellishing Bob and Bourbon Sense, hitting the line, Lady Contender and Magical Twist in a photo finish. It might have been the mare against the boys, but it'll be a photo. Dennis Collins, the jockey of Kalinda Dawn, was the leading thoroughbred jockey at Arapahoe Park in 2015. Temple Rushton won the trainer title, and Annette Bishop was leading owner.